Back here on Texas Football Today inside the Dave Campbell's Texas Football Iceberg. And um, look at my watch. Did you know that today is uh, is January 16th? Uh-huh. Do you know what day of the week that is? Uh, tu- Tuesday. It's Tuesday. You know what we do on Tuesday? Math Tuesday. Math Tuesday. <laughs> Math Tuesday. It's Math Tuesday here on Texas Football Today. Heck yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's, a, it's it is a, uh, it's a one of the most celebrated segments, I would say, in all of media. Yes. Uh, here and and today we've got a very special edition of Math Tuesday because rolling out here in just a few minutes on TexasFootball.com, we're going to have the Dave Campbell's Texas Football six year Texas high school football program rankings. I believe this is our sixth season of doing it. Oh wow! Um, we created this back in twenty and eighteen, I believe, <laughs> January twenty eighteen, um, as a way we wanted to find a way to quite frankly just measure. Texas high school football programs and answer the question, what is the best Texas high school football program? That's it. What's the best one going? And and so what we ended up coming up with was our six-year Texas high school football program rankings. We roll this out every every January uh, and, and want as a way of stacking up every UIL Texas high school football program up against one another. Let's, let's put the first slide up and we'll explain a little bit about what this what happens here. Okay, so here's how it works. The goal, as you can see, is to rank the relative strength of every UIL program in Texas over the course of the last six seasons. Now, you might be asking yourself, uh, "Hey, self, why did they choose six seasons?" And and the way that I thought, because I'll admit, I was the one who who designed this formula. Mm-hmm. My idea behind it was. Any program in Texas can have one transcendent class. Any program, and they should certainly get credit for that, but if you're talking about consistency, uh, we go a six-year sample, in my opinion, provides a steady measure of a program as opposed to an individual squad. Because that's one and a half graduation cycles. So even if you have one unbelievable class or one terrible class, Mm -hmm. right, Good programs can have one or two great years. Great programs will have it across a wider swath of time, like, for example, six years. So we chose the last six seasons. So these this year's rankings reflect the 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and this past year, the 2023 rankings. So 2017 is dropping off, and 2023 is joining. Uh, the rankings are based on a formula that includes the following criteria it's games one okay so plain and simple how many of the maximum number of games did you win so uh the maximum number of games you can win is 96 if you're an 11 man team and 90 if you're a six man team okay uh winning percentage okay that's i think that's pretty obvious mm-hmm. um of the games you did play how many did you win uh 10 win seasons uh this is one for me that i think if you win 10 games in a year unequivocally like it's hard to say you had a bad year is that right? Yeah. Would you say if oh, yeah. Lano if Lano wins ten games in a year, they're going, hey, that's, he- that's heck of a year. Yes. Heck of a year. Ten ten win seasons. How many times in the last six years did you win ten? There's games? very few teams that that would be a shock Correct. to only get a yes. ten win. Uh, state championship game appearances, plain and simple. How many state title games did you go to? And state championships. How many of those title games did you win? Uh, so perfect score. If you are the the perfect po- it's based on if you want to get into the weeds it's based I have it I have it set up so it's a hundred point metric mm-hmm. uh, the perfect score would be if you went ninety six and zero uh, or ninety and zero and you won all six state championships mm-hmm. uh, and the worst possible score would be if you went zero and ninety six or or zero and ninety um, and so one thing to keep in mind is that because this is a six year program ranking you have to have played six seasons for UIL honors to be eligible. So that doesn't mean outlaw schedules or anything. You have to play for UIL honors to be eligible. So newly eligible this year, because their sixth this past year was their sixth season of varsity play, Alvin Shadow Creek, San Antonio Harlan, Bridgeland, for example. And then there are a few programs that would have been in the top half of the rankings if they had been eligible. Teams like Frisco Emerson, San Antonio Davenport, and Canyon West Plains, which you will not see in the rankings when you see it. Overall, we rank 1,216 
UIL Texas high school football programs, okay? 1,216. So one of the things that I always keep an eye on whenever I'm putting these things together and I got my big spreadsheet out, I'm, I'm working through the data, is which teams are on the rise and which teams are falling the most. So let's take a look first at the teams that are on the rise the most. Number one with a bullet is Willis. Willis jumped 323 spots to number 618. There's the DJ Lagway effect. That's a, a big part of it. Right. It's, to me, whenever you look at these things, you have to measure it two ways. One, what season are they adding? And you'll see on this list, all five of these teams had great years. Oh, yeah. But also, if you go back to 2017... That means that their 2017 was likely not good. Yeah, really bad. Yeah, they're replacing a bad season with a, with great, a great one. Season. So Willis had a great year. They're up 323 spots. Clyde, uh, of course, Blake Carr and company, up mm -hmm. 308 spots to 489. Forney is up 286 spots after a, tr a terrific, terrific season, 628 up to 628. Roscoe, the Plowboys, are up 261 spots to number 530. And Miami is up 241 spots to 458. Yeah, because because even if you were replacing a really good year with like a fairly decent yeah. year, you wouldn't jump that much. You Absolutely. have to be ditching a really bad 2017 so, season. So I'll give you an example. Miami, down there at the bottom, 458. Mm -hmm. They went 12-1 and one this past year. It was a great year for the Warriors. They are replacing a 2-8 and eight season. Yes, exactly. That's so a substantial it's difference. It's a huge leap for That's them to be able to That's 12 more wins. And by the way, if they have or another 10. great year... This upcoming year in 2024, mm -hmm. they went three and six in 20 in 2018. Okay, which means they still got upward mobility in that regard. Then let's take a look on the other side of it and teams that uh, are tumbling a bit in the rankings, and you will see there will be a common thread here. Down 447 spots is Rockdale. Now this is extremely easy to explain. Pickle, do you know what happened to Rockdale in 2017? Did they win the state championship? Won a state championship. Yep. Plain and simple. When this, when the, when a state championship cycles off and you don't replace it with another great season, you're, you're going to fall. Yep. You're going to fall. Same thing goes for Hewitt Midway. Hewitt Midway, you may remember, played in the 6A Division II state championship. Mm -hmm. They tumbled 327 spots to 540. San Marcos is down 295 spots. They replace a... This is the opposite of that, right? Replace a, a good season with a bad one. San Marcos is down 295 spots. Houston, Washington was down uh, was down 290 spots, down into the thousands now. Uh, and then Round Rock Cedar Ridge down 245 spots uh, to 527. So... You can see, uh, it's it's. I, I think it's it's relatively easy to see once you dive into the numbers how these how this movement works. Which is how did you do in the year that's cycling off, and how did you do the year that's cycling on? Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're gonna roll out the top fifty. The top fifty will have all one thousand two hundred seventeen. Was it uh, programs? Yeah, two thousand sixteen programs. But here we're gonna roll out the top fifty. Fifty Corpus Christi Veterans Memorial. So number forty nine was Mason. Uh, number forty eight. Uh, was May in the six-man ranks. Number 47, let me see, 47, Spring Westfield. Number 46, Quero, there at 46. Uh, number 45, Gordon, there's a state champion. Mm -hmm. They made a huge leap, 110 spots up. Uh, number 44 uh, is Denton Geyer. Speaking of state champions, number 43, Timpson, made a big leap to 33 spots. Fall City is, uh, falls to 42. College Station down to, down to 41. Holiday at 40. Stratford up a couple spots to 39. Poth to 38. Benjamin, big, oh, big yeah. leap for them, up 108 spots for their second consecutive state championship. They're up to 37. They're 145th last year. They're now uh, up to number uh, 437. China Springs still with two state championships on their ledger. They are holding strong at 36. Wimberley, Longview at 34, Liberty Hill at 33, Strawn at 32. They are uh, they were number 10 last year, but they're starting to cycle off those state championships, and that's uh, that that hurts. The first of their of their three peat, I believe, cycles off now. Balmeray uh, uh, is down to 31. Pleasant Groves at 30. Vandegrift is at 29. Newton at 28. Uh, Fort Ben Marshall at 27, and Denton Ryan je uh, tumbles just out of the top 25. They're at 26th in our program rankings. So now, remember, this is based on 2018 through 2023. Let's roll out. All right, have you seen this? Mm -mm. Okay. I want you to take a guess at who the three top three are. It can be in any order. The top three programs over the last six seasons. Alito. Mm-hmm. 
Um, man, I would say Duncanville or North Shore, but that's going to be kind of hard because they've both played, but they've both won now. I'll go North Shore mm -hmm. and Gunner. Let's go to the top 25. Let me pull it up now. <laughs> Where number one... Oh, my God. I did it. You got it exactly <laughs> right. Number one, the I, Alito Bearcats. I promise Bearcats. I did not look at that. <laughs> number one, the Alito Bearcats. Alito is number one. They've gone 86-5 and five over the last six seasons. They have five state championships and five title game appearances. Five out of six. North Shore comes in second. They're 90-5 and five in that span. They've made five title games. They've won three of them. And third on the list is Gunner. They're up in the top. They move up a couple of spots to number three. Uh, they have won three titles. They, of course, have another title game appearance as well. Fourth is Mart. Fifth is Duncanville. Carthage tumbles from number two to number six. Uh, Austin Westlake is down from number four to number seven. Franklin, Refurio, and Hawley round out the top ten. Then you've got Grandview. South Oak Cliff is up to number, uh, number 12 in the rankings. Shiner at 13th. Canadian at 14th. Katie at 15th. The highest ranked six-man program is now Richland Springs at 16th. They have gone... Um, 68 and 8 over the course of the last six seasons. Uh, Gilmer makes a big leap with their state championship up to number 17. Albany, another state champion, moves up to 18th. Highland Park, actually one of the relative tumblers here. They drop from 10 to 19. DeSoto, their second consecutive state championship, gets them uh, up to number 20. Speaking of state champions, Malakoff up to number 21. Brock at 22. Argyle at 23. Westbrook at 24. And rounding out the top 25, the Southlake Carroll Dragons. So there you have it. Our program rankings, the top 25 Texas high school football programs uh, over the last six seasons. Alito, North Shore, Gunner, Mart, and Duncanville, your top five. Uh, we are now going to, we're going to release the, the, the full rankings on texasfootball.com. Coming up here momentarily, you can see where your favorite team ranks uh, in the 2024 Dave Campbell's Texas Football six-year Texas high school football program rankings. It is. Uh, it's a lot of fun to see kind of the, the the movement. Again, one of the things is that like if you if you win a state championship, it really does. Like when when we designed this, mm -hmm. I wanted it to be where if you win a state championship, you should get a big boost. Yeah. Like you should see it. Like you should be rocket fuel, mm -hmm. and it'll stick around for a while. So for a program, uh, you know, like Gilmer or a program like Benjamin, they yep. make a leap. But also, there's a side of it, which is for a program like Rockdale, mm -hmm. when it cycles off and that sugar high comes off, right? it hits. Well, yeah, and that's why the, the teams at the top should be the ones that are competing for a state championship to, to me, every single year. Yeah, to me, if you want to say this is a measurement of the most consistent Texas high school right. football programs, that's what I think it is. I think it measures consistency. And, and, and plain and simple, there's been no program in Texas high school football more consistently excellent than the Alito Bearcats. Yep. So there you have it. We'll have the Texas high school football program rankings up on texasfootball.com as soon as I get off the show. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe.